<laughs> ah, since you're here, you want to make yourself useful? Not particularly. Listen, son, I know you got a mission. But right now, I need another gun. Why? What's happening? We've had this problem for months with this group of bandits who are getting drunk and murdering settlers. Last night, they went to a big place up near Ridgewood. They burnt the place down, killed the men, burning most of them alive, and raped the women. Women folk then got their throats slit. One of them survived and walked in here this morning. Anyway. We got a posse gathering up near Ridgewood. Will you ride with us? All right. Thank you, John Marston. It's gonna be a bloody job. Huh. I don't think I know any other kind, sir. Hey, wait up! Let's go. Stay together. Marston, I hear you caught up with Mr. West Dickens. I did. For a man who claims to have found a remedy to all ailments, he was in pretty bad shape. His tonic has helped a great many people. It's a medical breakthrough from the East, the result of years of research. If only it could cure him of his diarrhea of the mouth. I wouldn't be so dismissive of science if I was you. Times is changing fast. He's no more a scientist than I am a priest. But people can spend their hard-earned money however they please. He's certainly a character, that West Dickens. I can't understand a goddamn word he's saying. A more flannel-mouthed bunco artist I've never met. Look, vultures. We should check it out. Marston, Eli, go see what it is. Man, this don't look too good. Somebody was so busy killing people, they went and dropped their gun. You're weak, men. A pack of cowards is the most dangerous kind. Some men are just born plain evil. I think it's this land that makes the men, as much as the other way around. Men are born, and then they're born. At least that's how I see it. I can see more boats up ahead. All right, let's go check it out. Yeah. dead body and the fire still smoking those scumbags must still be around come on sons of bitches if you want to run a gang of outlaws and... yeah but not like that it wasn't our way at least it wasn't my way killing a thieving's never right boy no matter how you dress it up unless it's ordered by a court of law you mean you know as well as I do, Marshal. One way or another, some men gotta die. The place looks deserted. Where is everyone? 
All right, boys, let's have a look around. Let's go. Nobody's in the shed. Mother of mercy. Please, please don't shoot me. Some bandits came by and took us hostage. They're holed up in the farmhouse. Some of my family is being kept hostage inside. <laughs> waiting for you in the shed out back. Make a run for it when it's clear. They did unspeakable things to me. Look like that's all of them. Let's see how the hostages are doing. Don't think you'll be needing this.
Time ago. And bearing in mind, he's left me for dead the last two times I've seen him. I'm about figuring we've moved past the family part. That somebody on the cliff? You just walk away now, John. I didn't kill you before, but I sure as shit will now. Get yourself down here, Bill. You know you ain't man enough to stop me. <laughs> You know I don't want to kill you, but I will. You always did have a high opinion of yourself, John. <laughs> Dutch always said you were an arrogant son of a bitch. I guess he was about right. Get him, boys! Everybody, take cover! In that shed! Business with you, you boys. Hey, look what I got here. <laughs> There's something that you're still breathing. <laughs> Come here, boy. <laughs> Come on, Bessie. Give. <laughs> oh. Norman Deke. <laughs> Fuck. Nice to see you again, buddy. Thanks for your help, John. Norman here is going to help us get to Bill. <coughs> Ain't you, Norman? Thank you, Mr. Dick. Mighty kind. Fuck you! Hog time. Let's get him to jail. <laughs> <laughs> 